As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. I mean, that's going to be a $700 box uh, of decals for five bucks. <music> Welcome back Commonwealth Picker and we have a busy day here in the eBay cave and I want to talk about a few things. I want to show you what's sold. We sold uh, $321.81 worth of stuff today and this sign right here was made by my wife. Uh, it was an item I picked quite a while ago and she created this for us to put in the antique booth or one of the two booths at least. We'll have to work on a second one. So let's first talk about what's sold and we'll talk about that sign and a couple other topics uh this busy morning so 321 dollars and 85 cents pretty good selling day um we have let me let me use my phone here to show you so um some smalls first this was uh found essentially in the bottom of a camera bag and uh, it sold for seven dollars and 88 cents free shipping um i guess it's better than throwing it away make about three four dollars on it um, we have a baseball bag. This one was probably in the Played Against Sports episode. This was in a throw-in baseball lot, um, and it sold for uh, $14.99 um, plus shipping. It is, I think it's plus shipping. I, I got to check on that one. It may be, maybe not, but either way, it's bare minimum. It's about a $6 profit, um, and if it's got shipping on top, it's more like uh, 9 about $10 profit. All right, um, we have a Tommy Hilfiger shirt, which Tommy, not all Tommy's good, y'all. Um, this one was three ninety three ninety nine $3.99 Goodwill. It sold for $16, so there's only about a $7 profit in this one. So the reason I bought it is I thought it would be a fairly quick seller because it was perfectly cleaned and dry cleaned, and sometimes that puts them over the top. Um, so six bucks, I don't know. I just not typically what I want to be doing, but... Um, I still have a bunch of these hanging around, so literally. Um, so I'd like to uh, see if I can get rid of them, maybe not buy them again. But not a bad little profit. If you've been watching the videos like you've been seeing, my wife's kind of been teasing me in the editing process. Which makes me have to go back and watch the videos to make sure it's not being too rough. So when I just said that that thing's been hanging around and then said literally... I know she's going to tease me on that one, so hopefully not. We'll see. All right. Item, next item up is a uh, Super Mario paper game. This is a dollar at a yard sale. It sold for 12 I think free ship, so decent profit. Nothing to write home about. Uh, same thing on this. It's a dollar buy for a Sony PlayStation controller, PS1 controller. And it sold for uh, $13.45. So, you know, both those, you put them together, you make about uh, $10, $12 on them. Not, nothing special. Uh, Jim Shore, Hartwood Creek, Wicked, 2008 Haunted House. I'm going to show you this. You can see it right here. Barely. I so, can't get it to blow up on the eBay thing. Um, it is in the video. Matter of fact, I think it's the very last thing in the... Um, private pick video. I showed it a few times throughout that video. I think it was in the front seat on the floorboard of my car if you want to go back and look at it, but I've already packaged it up. And these are kind of fragile and it had a witch at the top. And so I've double boxed it and kind of floated the box. So it sold for $55 plus shipping. And I'm hoping um, that it all gets there intact. Um, spent about 25 minutes doing a really good pack job on the, on this and the box is you know twice as big as the item so hopefully it gets there. Um, now remember I paid $200 for that whole lot 
and a couple things I've listed already and I'm gonna list a bunch more today I hope I am hoping to pay for that um, within five days uh, just by listing five or six items I have the swatch watch um, on auction I have some of the Waterford crystal on auction um, not huge priced items and there's one particular piece I want to list pretty quickly. I think I can pay for the whole lot, the entire truckload of stuff, um, by selling one of the Department 56 items, if everything is there. And that is the uh, Sleepy Hollow, um, Legends of Sleepy Hollow, and it has the Headless Horseman. It doesn't have the box with it. There are comps on there for $250, $350 for the whole set of three. Um, I'm not sure I can get that. It doesn't have the box, and I'm not sure if I have one piece. But if I do and can get 250 it's perfect timing to sell this Halloween stuff. And then we're going to hit the Thanksgiving stuff that we got in that giant lot, and then the Christmas stuff. So, uh, And you can sell anything all year, but obviously those items are just about ready to pop. So we're going to get that stuff on there. And maybe I'll keep a towel. Maybe I'll do Lonnie style, except we're doing it in reverse. And I'll uh, get a little dry erase or something and find... Um, find some items that um, are selling from that lot and see how far beyond the $200, see how much profit we're gonna make. It can be a little hard because we're gonna sell a lot of that stuff in the booth, so we'll see. But I, I may try and do that. This is the first one, so I better start today. All right, next item up on the list, uh, that was $54.95, by the way, plus shipping. So that goes about uh, you know a fourth of the way to paying everything back for that lot already just on one little item fitbit this was also from that lot so i guess there's two already this is a fitbit um actually you know what this is from that house but this is from the first time i went there this is not from the second lot so this one's not going to be included in that um price but this fitbit was ten dollars um and it sold for 51.88 and it's new um next one i've already shipped that one we'll skip it is this little nintendo ds stylus item um obviously it says 50 cents on it i paid a quarter at uh, a massive yard sale in roanoke virginia um so uh if the star city pickers out there are watching and it sold for 9.41 for a quarter so that's a good six dollar profit uh this is an interesting one and I've got to go to the antique booth to find these, the rest of these. Um, this guy here had bought, it was kind of a, I kind of messed up a little bit a few times um, trying to get, um, I have them in lots of four and I had seven lots of four and he wanted to buy them all. It was a pain in the butt to try and figure it all out with free shipping and I screwed it up a few times. But in the end, we got $42 for these 28. Um, and, uh, and I think shipping on top of that. So a lot better than selling them for a dollar a piece inside of that booth. Um, I think I still have more down there and he says he's more interested. So I'm gonna go back, see if I can come up with 10, 12 more. Um, we are already well into the profit on these decals. Whenever you can get a bulk buy of something um, that you know has some value, value, do it. This was a giant box and you've seen them in previous videos of decals probably a thousand decals all different kinds but not all of them sell on ebay because you're selling one-offs it's not going to work too often but there was a ton of these i've already sold a few this pays for the box plus is plus gives me about a 30 dollar profit and i've already probably made 30 dollars so i'm already about 60 dollars up on these decals with about 900 left so uh and they'll sell one at a time i sold two in the booth the other day for a dollar a piece um so you know, I don't know if they'll all sell because some aren't great quality, but let's say 500 of them sell in the booth and we sell a few more here online. I mean, that's going to be a $700 box uh, of decals for five bucks. So that's the kind of stuff. And it doesn't take up much space. So that's the kind of buy I like to get. Um, next item. This has been around for a long time. I sold a bunch of these and I don't know why in particular this one hasn't sold. It's a Cadillac emblem. And you know you can look up the part numbers on the back and list them this one took a long time uh, the other one sell, sold pretty quickly this one went for 1981 free shipping because i've reduced the price so many times on it but we're well into the profit on these anyways this was at that it was at that roanoke yard sale where i talked about buying the the nintendo ds except for it was last year's yard sale in that community um so i would say 
I mean, this is all profit at this point, but uh, I would say I've made a few hundred dollars on just the Cadillac emblem. All right, next item is a quarter item I bought at the 100 mile yard sale, um, and it is a copper, old school copper bracelet. Golfers used to wear these things, and it, uh, you know, you can see the original retail right there. It's actually the wrong one because this is copper. And it says it's $25 or $49.99 initially. Anyways, I got $10 for it, so it's about a $5, $6 profit for me. All right, and is that, that can't be it, is it? That's not it. Here's one right here. This one we bought in a recent one. You'll see, uh, you probably saw it a day or two ago. Uh, this is a Louisville Slugger glove, and it's a really nice one. It um, It's in good shape. They wanted $12 for it. I bundled it together with a bunch of other stuff, with a basket, with a, some Liberty stuff, and, and got it all for $10. So I'm probably about $8 into this, and it sold for $34.95 plus shipping. Nice little, uh, nice little, let's say, $25 profit on it. Okay. It's not free shipping. It was uh, $34.95 plus shipping. All right, I think that might be it. Have I covered everything? I think I have. I think I have. Um, there is, uh, you see my new little mug right here. This was part of that deal. If you saw in the uh, yard, short little yard sale video, it may not air until after this. I bought a whole lot of stuff for two bucks and this was included. So I uh, tallied that stuff all up and it should be about a $200 buy. Um, not not even counting the $200 profit, not even counting this because I'm sure Turner would like it. So, All right, let's show you my wife's sign here. And I thought about hanging up in here. I like it so much. So you tell me what, what you think. This is going to hang in our booth. She did all this. She uh, took it. It was an old Gantt sign that used to hang in a... In a, you know in a mall over the Gantt stuff you know clothing on both sides and she took it and she painted it and painted it with chalkboard paint and did this with chalk chalk marker and the, the back side is blank I don't know if she'll put anything on that but um, probably don't really need to because it'll hang in the front of our booth so what do you think tell me what you think of uh, my wife's handiwork there I think she did a pretty darn good job I'm impressed so, all right, um, you'll see that uh, on a video hanging in our booth in the future. Thanks again for watching. Um, subscribers keep going up. I really appreciate it. You guys have been kind. And uh, please uh, give me some feedback in the comments below. And let me know what you have and how you like to list your holiday stuff. Do you buy holiday stuff? Um, do you list it two months in advance? Do you not care when you list it? Do you just put it out there whenever you get it? Um, and what are some of your holiday best sellers? So, anyway, uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe below. I'm going to come back for one last little guy here that I forgot. The Homeschool Hustlers have now say, sold four items. This sold for eight, nine dollars. I can't remember. I think it was nine dollars. Free ship is 50 cents at the Goodwill. So, they'll make about four fifty on that, which means each of them get two and a quarter. So that one's going up. If y'all, we're going to start adding more and more to that. So if you want to go look over at the Homeschool Hustler store um, and help them out and help them get some good feedback and maybe buy a Christmas gift for somebody, it is in the description below. Um, and it would be much appreciated. See you later. Bye.